to reasonably chastise her children. Joining us live to debate now whether it's OK to smack your children is the parenting expert and author, Liz Fraser, who's in central London, as you see. Liz, a very good day to you. Tim Doble's Hello. here. He's a writer and member of the Sky News Stand Up Be Counted campaign. Uh, welcome to you both. Liz, let's start with you. Uh, the argument runs, doesn't it, that violence begets violence. <clears throat> if you smack your children, uh, you are endowing them with, a, with an interest in violence. That's, that's, that's the headline, isn't it? Uh, that is certainly one, one part of it and an argument that needs to be listened to. Um, I think the starting point for this debate really for most people is that one should never hit a child. Quite clearly one should never hit a child. It shows that you've lost control and it's not the best way to be going about any sort of discipline or education of a child. However, uh, speaking as a mother of three, uh, almost all of them three teenagers now, and speaking, on, I hope, on behalf of a lot of normal parents out there who don't go around hitting their children, we do all know that there are times when a tap on the bottom or something like that, child runs out into yeah. the road, it's, it's a reaction like that, which we almost <coughs> everybody has okay. done. If that's to be criminal, criminalised, we're going to have a lot of parents in a lot of trouble for really doing almost nothing wrong. Yeah, and that, yeah. Tim, that, arguably that's the point. Look, I mean, the law currently says if you leave a mark, if you leave a bruise, if you leave a scratch, if you lose, leave a graze, the law as it currently stands can send you to prison as a parent for up to five years. Absolutely, yeah, and quite rightly too. I don't think there is ever any need to physically harm a child or touch a child. I think it's a poor excuse for parenting, actually. It's a poor excuse for bad parenting. Uh, with parents that can't use their words properly. I think <laughs> verbal well, what, what about that point that Liz makes? Well. And it's the one that we always trot out, Liz, isn't it? But it's, it's, the, it's the scenario which many parents, Liz can relate to it, certainly I can, where you try to cross a road, you've got a, you've got a toddler. You can't rationalise with said toddler because they don't get it. But they're Absolutely. about to run away from you into the path of oncoming traffic. Yes. You're stressed as a parent. You're terrified. You would be terrified as a parent. And obviously the best thing to do is not to hit them or tell them, no, don't do this. No, I'm but it's gonna... not. Look, look, Tim, it's this. It's, it's this. That is still inappropriate to me. I really Why? don't think it's acceptable to hit a child at all. You can just dis discipline with your words and say firmly, strongly, no, don't do that, don't go into the road because that is dangerous. Yes. Most Stop. parents have done that for about an hour before it comes to the point of actually saying, do you know what, I've just completely lost my rag. And of course that is important, it means you have lost control. But Tim, really, one day, I hope that perhaps if you'd like to, you, you will have children and you will be pushed oh, that, oh, hang to on, a, to Hang a on, point. you're making an assumption. You are. Do you have kids? Too? I don't have kids. Okay. No. All right. You made an assumption. You would. You, it would prove to be correct. Well, Crayon. I had been. I had been told that already. So I, I was aware <laughs> that Tim didn't have children. But the the problem with this, Tim, is that you. We can't actually legislate for absolutely every single thing that any parent could ever do to any child. And we're talking here about physical, physical uh, sort of uh, unkindness. There's also emotional. Perhaps it should be illegal to to tease a child, uh, to be nasty to a child, uh, to speak in a rough way to a child, which can also cause enormous damage. We can't actually legislate for everything. Well, let, let, At some let's, point, yeah, the what, buck has to stop somewhere and let, parents have got to have some responsibility. Let's follow this through logically if we can. Tim, imagine, imagine we absolutely criminalise all forms of physical chastisement. Yeah. And we're serious about the law, you know, and such that we start imprisoning people who do it. Now, you've already got 68,000 children in care right now. That's the highest number for 25 years. You're going to end up with more children taken away from their parents and put into care. And do you know what then happens? Their lives are frequently wrecked. That is the natural conclusion of the policy you're advocating. Absolutely. But I'm not saying that we should continue to uh, not discipline them at all. There is need for discipline. There is need for education. There is need for honesty and respect and understanding with children. What I don't think is necessary at all is this physical contact, is this actual physical uh, abuse, essentially, when, it, when you get them collated together, it just translates into this abuse. Although it may be difficult to legislate against child uh, chastisement in the home, it's not impossible to cut it out altogether. We need this education for parenting, we need education for kids to teach them this is what, not so the they can denounce their parents head. to the authorities? <laughs> Quite possibly. If the parents are acting irresponsibly, right. I think that needs to be... The L Liz, let's be defined. clear. Let, let's try and introduce a, a, a healthy whiff of, uh, of reality here. It's not aimed. These, the, the MPs who not so long ago decided they wanted to try and uh, tack something onto an existing bill and try and completely outlaw any chastisement, they're not aiming it at people like you. They're not aiming it at the good parents. They're aiming it at parents who are really struggling, who've got vulnerable, you know, quote, vulnerable lives, chaotic lives. 
And they're sending out a message. This, is, this would be exemplary legislation, a shot over the bows, a reminder that actually the state will not permit this kind of nonsense. Uh, and that is absolutely right. You're quite right. They're not aiming it at most, most decent parents out there at all. But the problem is the people who really are abusing their children and the people who really do need to be stopped doing that, uh, legislation like this won't do that. There are already systems in place. First of all, it's called just other people looking out for children and just, just you know, well, just we do noticing that less less, things. Don't we, we have, uh, we do, but we have teachers. Teachers have meetings with uh, child protection officers who come in and go around all schools. So there are systems in place. Yes, lots fall through the net, unfortunately, and it's dreadful. But the answer is not to go around penalising good parents who are just ha holding down jobs and marriages and life, who, you know, every so often, do you know what, we so many adults that I've talked to about this and parents are like, I remember being walloped on the bottom as a child. And, I, you know, really, that was absolutely fine. And I know it's, yeah. it's a very beautiful idea to say Could we should always punish this and it's a dreadful thing to hurt a child. But Actually, there are systems in place already. Liz, I tell you what, you do introduce an important distinction there. There is a big difference, isn't there, between in the heat of the moment, and you're right, you know, parents are hugely stressed at times. In the heat of the moment, I'm not going to do it again, Tim, don't run away, the tap on the back of the hand. <laughs> Thank you. And that they're hugely ritualised, wait till I get you home. Ooh. And here's the problem, Tim, one of the, one of the risks you run is that you criminalise this, you force it underground. And the kind of wait till I get you home thing, when you're in the supermarket and your toddler's kicking off, you do get home, and in the privacy of your own home, then you deliver the ritualised smacking, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Yeah. yeah. I think the ritual is obviously worse. That is abuse. But also, the heat of the moment, I think that's a really terrible way of putting it. I mean, in the heat of the moment, you cannot justify a really terrible action just because you are stressed or under some sort of um, some sort of difficulty with your child. I think we really need to lay it out. If you're a parent, your responsibility is not to lose your call to the extent where you want to hit a child. Do you, do you accept... I, I, I'll, I'll, Liz has got that look on her face, so I'll try, I'll try and paraphrase the I point she's about to make to you. And it's, of course, in danger of being a patronising point, but it's, it's the one I'm sure she's about to make, which is that until you've actually been there... I'm right here, Liz, aren't I? You can see where I'm going with this. Unless you've actually been there, you're at the checkout in the supermarket, the three-year-old is kicking off spectacularly, arms in the air, legs in the air, screaming blue murder, and you're tired, you've had a long day at work, you can't pay the bills, whatever. Yes. Until you've been there, you're talking out of your backside. Well, oh, no, I really can't accept that, because although I'm not a parent, I have taken care of children. I have a little brother who I've taken care of. I used to walk him to school, home from school. I used to take him to the park, to the playground. At some point, yes, you do have to be firm. You have to say, right, what you're doing is wrong, but I would never, under any circumstance, go and physically hit my, my little brother because I don't think it's necessary. There you go. We've taught Liz some manners. She put her hand up then before yes. she talked. Go on, very briefly, Liz. <laughs> uh, that wasn't the point I was going to make. Actually, the point I was going to make was that we cannot legislate for this because it's all so grey and so woolly. Your tap is my hit. Okay. Your hit is my smack. It's impossible, OK? So we, right. we need to accept that this will happen and not criminalise parents for doing something which really isn't all that terrible most of the time. We've got to leave it right there. Uh, Liz Fraser, Tim, okay. no, thanks very much Thank indeed. Thank you very much.